Having a central location for access to your desktops is an important part of your VDI strategy. Verde provides a simple to use user console where a few simple choices are given to the user. One of them appears on the login screen. Below the username and password fields is an advanced option hyperlink. Users have the options to adjust their user experience based on the network connection they have at that moment in time. Corporate users can leave the LAN setting. Home office users with 4G connectivity or cable modem can select broadband and remote or 3G users can select the DSL or WAN. Once logged in, the user will see the desktop or desktops that have been provisioned for them. Below the desktop description, the advanced options are displayed again. Next to the bold play button are a couple of choices for the user as well, a revert, abort, and shut down. Quickly, the revert button will stop the session and reprovision the desktop from the gold master. Abort will shut down the image and return the user license to the pool of available licenses. And shutdown will turn off the guest and the play button acts as a restart. I'm going to click on the play button to get to my guest desktop. I'm immediately brought to my desktop through the SPICE protocol in this case. And now, as you can see, I'm on the desktop of my computer. We'll go ahead and very quickly show that we're working on a machine that belongs to the Verde domain with one gig of memory and its processor is the Verde virtual CPU. To disconnect from the lap, from the desktop, I can use my simple controls of start, and then shut down or log off. Or I can minimize my screen using Shift F11, which brings back the modal instance. And I can close the spice window from here, leaving the desktop available. Notice now the thumbnail provides information as to what I was doing on the desktop when I was last on it. And my status as below that thumbnail shows that I am disconnected.